name is Dr. Samson Asala from the Medifem Multi Specialist Hospital and Fertility Center. Today on our breast cancer tips, we are going to talk about chemotherapy as a treatment option for breast cancer. Chemotherapy is the treatment where we give certain kinds of medication that target rapidly dividing cells, of which cancer cells are the most common in the human body. Now, chemotherapy is done with various agents, and all that they aim to do is to arrest the rapid spread of cancer cells. Because chemo drugs affect all cells that rapidly divide, they also affect hair cells, blood cells, and then cells that line the intestines because these are normal human cells that divide rapidly. There are various ways chemotherapy can be used. Sometimes chemotherapy is used to reduce the spread or to downgrade the stage. What do I mean? When cancer begins to spread, it is dividing rapidly. Chemotherapy helps to arrest or even stop the spread so that surgery can be used to cut off a localized breast cancer. Other times, chemotherapy is used to help relieve symptoms that can be associated with breast cancer. Chemotherapy that is given before surgery is called neoadjuvant chemotherapy. And chemotherapy that is given after surgery is called adjuvant chemotherapy. All these kinds of treatments have their place in making sure that we achieve some cure in breast cancer management. It is very important that I state here that because breast cancer chemotherapy affects other rapidly dividing cells. That is why women who are on chemotherapy may lose their hair, may suffer symptoms such as anemia, are susceptible to infections, and can have diarrhea, vomiting, and other illnesses. In spite of these, the effect in reducing the breast cancer is significant and is only used when the benefit is more than the side effects. So join us again as we go on to the next treatment option, which is radiotherapy. See you then.